What's up guys, my name is Michael and today Apple released iOS 12.3 beta 2. So this comes two weeks after the release of iOS 12.3 beta 1. In my opinion, iOS 12.3 beta 1 was by far the most buggy version of iOS 12, whether it's a beta or not, that I've ever had on one of my main devices. And that is not a good sign. So hopefully here with beta 2, Apple has fixed most of these bugs and I can start using iOS 12.3 on my main devices once again, because I actually had to take iOS 12.3 off of my iPad Pro because the bugs were so bad. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at everything new in iOS 12.3 beta 2. So of course, the changes continue inside the TV application. If we go ahead and open it up here, there is a small change up top in the search field. So I believe in beta 1, this search text was centered above the search field and it wasn't as bold. And in beta 2 here, you can see whenever you tap on it, it has a little animation where it floats up and uh, the search text is a little bit bigger. If I am wrong here, you can tell me in the comments below, but as soon as I opened up the app, I thought that this looked a little bit bigger on the top left. You can tell me if I'm wrong though. They also have some changes in the watch now section. So it looks like there are a lot more recommendations now in my TV app. I watched a few other videos and people saw that the list actually got smaller for them. But on iOS 12.3 beta one, I had hardly any recommendations here. And now this list is very long for me. So I still don't think Apple's doing a very good job at recommending shows that I would want to watch because I would never watch Keep Me Up with the Kardashians. I would never watch a Mary Poppins movie. So I think Apple needs to do some tweaks uh, with this what to watch section. Uh, again, for you, um, these comedies are some movies that I might watch, but uh, for the most part, Apple isn't doing a very good job uh, detecting what kind of shows I like to watch, just uh, based on these recommendations here on the home screen. So a few uh, extra tweaks need to be made here and there just to make it a bit more personalized. So one super small change that I found inside the settings app, if I go to settings, general and about, I always check all these numbers after every time I update my phone. And when I scroll down here, this is a very, very small change. The modem firmware on my device changed from 1.05.00 to 1.05.01. So a very small change. They upgraded the firmware for the modem. If you don't know, the modem is pretty much an antenna that connects your device to a external sources. So it's either for Wi-Fi, for cellular connection, or Bluetooth. So with this modem firmware update, you may be noticing a slight difference in the speed at which your phone can connect to wireless networks. There is a huge fix in iOS 12.3 for iPad users. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I had to downgrade from iOS 12.3 beta 1 back down to iOS 12.2 on my iPad Pro because Apple took away support for palm rejection in the Apple Pencil. So whenever I take notes in school, I use my iPad and my Apple Pencil, and I always rest my palm on my iPad whenever I'm writing. And in beta 1, there was a glitch where it would detect your palm whenever it was set on the device, and it would put inputs in the device like you were touching it, like it was a finger. And Apple had mitigation for this. They had a lot of really good palm rejection software built into the iPad experience. And I don't know why they took that out in beta one, but it is now fixed in beta two. So if you go to write stuff on your iPad and you do have iOS 12.3 beta two, it will not detect any inputs from your palm when you are writing with Apple Pencil. So thank you, Apple. That is a much needed fix. So overall, I wasn't very impressed with iOS 12.3 beta 1. The performance wasn't very good. Like I said, I had to downgrade it on my iPad. Uh, battery life on my iPhone wasn't very good at all. And uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. This is a brand new beta, but we are very early in the beta testing stages still. I don't think we'll see a public release until over a month from now. So Apple still has a whole bunch of betas that they can release of 12.3. But for now, we'll just have to wait and see. If you guys want to see a follow-up video on beta 2, you can tell me in the comments down below. I usually don't make follow-up videos on first betas just because those are usually very buggy and I don't recommend people run uh, first betas of software on their main devices. But I am going to run beta 2 here on my phone. If you want me to make a follow-up video, tell me in the comments below. Drop a huge like on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.